In other news, hundreds of dollars worth of candy meant for children is stolen, jeopardizing one community's Halloween. And tonight, just one night before Halloween, those thieves and the candy are still unaccounted for. WLKY's Lauren Adams is just back from North Vernon, Indiana. She joins us now with the very latest. Lauren? Good evening to you, Rick. The police department in North Vernon has been handing out candy for more than a decade. In fact, this event has become such a staple in that town, the police department even budgets for it. Now, unwilling to cancel it, the department has scrambled to make up the difference. Not every house will have a light on or decorations or even candy to give out on Halloween night. But for the North Vernon Police Department, it's tradition. We've been doing the handing out the candy as long as I've been here, and I've been with the police department now for 12 years. Sergeant That's Andrew Richmond says business. on Wednesday his officer shelled out $300, loaded the candy into the back seat of an undercover vehicle, locked up, and headed into a cracker barrel for lunch. 40 minutes later, the back window had been broken, and the candy was gone. On paper, the police department is listed as the victim for this type of crime. But Richmond says it's the kids that are really the victims in this case. Luckily, donations began to come in piece by piece and bar by bar. Four packs of six full-size full bars. They just dropped them off. The department switched funds and found the money, and now the department's tradition will continue. Everybody's a fan of M&M's. But this year, it's bittersweet. I'd say that there's probably a pretty big lack of morals in whoever did it. It's pretty low. Really, the thieves are stealing right out of the, right out of the candy bags of the kids that live around here. Rick, Vicki, in addition to the candy that was stolen, thieves also got away with a fingerprinting kit, a police badge, and a police ID. Seymour police, remember this happened at the Seymour Cracker Barrel, believe they're looking for at least two people, possibly driving a newer model, dark colored Dodge Durango. The theft would have occurred between 1250 and 125 Wednesday afternoon. Tonight, anyone with information is asked to call police. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.